1878, what is now known as Everton Football Club, was formed. Tonight we enter a location next to the ground which Everton supporters have frequented for over 100 years. We enter this world knowing only life, yet death awaits us all. Using some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment, we endeavour to gather evidence that there is life after death. These are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Whatever you have seen, whatever you have felt, whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. Hello and welcome. The location we've been invited to investigate tonight is known as the People's Pub. But it would appear that it's not just a pub for the living. There are more spirits here than you'd find behind the bar. Based in Liverpool, this building was once used as a hotel and has been a host to multiple claims of paranormal sightings. This is the Winslow Hotel and this is Ghost Dimension. Literally a stone's throw away from Everton football ground is this magnificent hotel and pub, which dates back to 1886. The hotel is no longer in use, but as you might expect, with a building this old and with so much history, there are a few guests that haven't yet checked out. It's Goodison by six years, 1886. This whole development, all these streets here, where there's a little bit of history attached to them. Um, uh, it's a Welsh family of th three generations of builders, the Elias family, and all the streets were called first initials after William, Owen, and, Eli and Edward Alfred Elias. So, um, and the Winslow was built at that time, all these streets were getting built in the mid to late 80s. This was constructed in 1886. It's been changed a little bit up there, but I heard somewhere 13, if that's not a normal. At one point, there was 13 rooms here. From time to time, and I'll tell you this straight, I have sensed that things have moved. And it could be just me, you know, keys, phone, anything, put something down, and I would be here alone at this point. I'd come back and it's gone. An hour later, I'd find it somewhere else. No recollection of putting it there. chance we had paranormal investigators come in they were just they were just due to investigate another building in the area another old building and they couldn't because I think they had a break in the same day and they asked the contact me and said we could come in could we come in you have a building from the 1800s and they were upstairs in the accommodation side of it and the first floor and they pretty much told me a hope of activity as what I was told the top floor seems to be the most active area for spirit activity Spiritual beings have been seen inside of these uninhabited rooms. Perhaps they are visions of previous guests still residing at the hotel. A lady who appears to have been distressed has been seen roaming these corridors as well as the sound of someone sobbing, echoing throughout the emptiness of this building. Are these two events linked in some way? And if so, why is she so upset? <laughs> was there a crime committed? Was there, some, was there someone murdered up there? Possibly. Or, or a suicide. 
But some, let's just say, people that didn't die of natural causes. That's what I heard. Could the tragic deaths be the cause of the activity at this location? People that didn't die of natural causes. 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 It is thought that several people died here under mysterious circumstances. So could it be all the activity up here is the imprint of some dastardly deed that was committed back in the early 1900s? We hope to find out tonight. The Winslow Hotel. Yep. Opposite the football ground for Everton. Yep. This place is old. Well, it opened its doors in 1886, so it's over 100 years old. And it's got many stories to tell, and probably many unsolved mysteries. I think so as well. I know that staff have witnessed various things happening in here, especially upstairs, because upstairs is different to these bar areas. These bar areas look deceptively different to what's derelict upstairs. Upstairs staff have witnessed a lady sobbing, spirit lady, and also they've witnessed like an argument happening and they've gone upstairs up to the top of the stairs and no one's there. It's weird. Well, I'll tell you what I felt when I walked into the building tonight. It felt very um, oppressive, very dense, as if everybody was, all the spirits were watching me. All eyes are on us tonight, definitely. I, I think you're right, Bex. I think tonight's going to be a fantastic investigation. I think it will, definitely. So much ground to cover. Yeah. So many varied areas to cover. Yeah. Downstairs in the cellar, which is humongous. Upstairs in a derelict part of the building, which was once a hotel. And if there's anything going on in this bar area, I'm about to find out about that as well. Pretty sure. Should we get some experiments set up tonight? Let's do it. Let's... What's, what's, what should we set up tonight? Well, we've got a motion sensor, which we can put down the corridor where the lady's been seen. Okay, that's, I like the sound of that. Yeah, it will trigger. There's three devices and it can, it'll say device one has been triggered, device two has been triggered, or device three. Right. So if she's moving around or there's a spirit moving around, we'll capture it up there on any, any one of the devices. If we Hopefully, if we put a lock off camera there, okay. we'll capture it physically as well as here and audibly. And we'll obviously have our trusted uh, REM pods, K2s. Yeah. Uh, maybe the torch. The torch has been really good in locations lately. So maybe put that somewhere when no. we're calling out. I think you're right. I can't wait to get started. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Come, Come on. on then. So tonight it looks like we may be playing detective to try and get to the bottom of what actually happened here. Was there a murder? And if so, who and why? Hopefully tonight we'll find out and we'll be able to check out in the morning safely. Ghost Dimension. There is so much to investigate at the Winslow, so we sent Paul upstairs to investigate the sinister claims while Sean and I investigated the bar area which has also been host to its fair share of activity. Is anybody here? Can you walk away from the K2 meter if you're here? What was that? That was in the back. Um, you've walked away and it's gone. Oh no, it hasn't. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I know, I know, I heard it. And, and over again, again. Can um, you tap again if that's you? Let us know you're here. Tap the back wall again if you're here. Okay, are you a man? What was that noise? Okay, you can do it again now. Thank you. Brilliant, thank you. I've just got up here and put some equipment down so I could get ready and the REM started going off before I had the camera going so as you've just seen I've turned the camera on and said you can do it again and it's doing it again thank you can you step away from that now please 
Let it go off. I've got a whole bunch of remnants down that corridor because this corridor is where a woman's been seen walking, looking upset, and it looked like something just went past the screen there for a second. Are you sitting over here? Shit, shit. I oh, know, I can't see anything. I just saw a shadow, but I think it may have been you. I can't see anything. I can't anything. see my shadow. Why? I'm stood here, right beside you. Well, I saw a shadow. I swear I saw a shadow. I just assumed it was you. I saw a shadow. Babe, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard babe. That. Somebody's beside me. Where? Someone? I don't know, this side. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. It's that somebody. It's somebody living. Surely. Yeah. I don't know. You're looking. I heard the chairs go. Did you hear them I chairs go? I saw the go? shadow go over that way. Did you see those chairs go? I didn't see them. I heard them. Babe, and we need a torch because... It's okay. Just stay still. No. Whoa. Somebody's in here. Yeah. Babe. Babe. What? Somebody's in here. Bex. What? It's okay. I'm just shouting to see where you are. Okay, if you're here and you're making the noises, whistle and make a whistle noise to us. I heard that at the back. Yeah. Up there. I don't know where, but I heard it at the back. They're very faint. It went like a. Did you hear that moan? Can you do that again? If that is you, can you point it over there and I'll point it you, yeah? Can you do that again? If that was you, make that noise. The whistle. Do you remember when Paul said, um, when you get a name in your head, just say it? Yeah. I've got the word name, Bob. 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 Bob? See, I'm not, not a psychic, I'm not a medium or anything like that. But one of the rules I go by when doing this sort of stuff is if something pops in your head that you can't uh, rationalise away, can't say it's your thought, then work with it. And I've just had a name pop in my head and that name was Sarah. And there's a noise over there somewhere. Is your name Sarah? Can you give me a sign if I've got your name correct? Is your name Sarah? With Bex and Paul sensing the names Bob and Sarah, are these two people connected to the Winslow? And if so, would they make their presence known even more as the night continues? Sarah, is, your, is this your name? I really am. That was a rem song, I'm not sure where. Is that your name? Is your name Sarah? What was that? What is that noise? What is that noise? <coughs> east. East. What about East? What are you trying to say about the East? Or is that your surname perhaps, Sarah East? Paul received an immediate response by calling for Sarah, and on the camera audio, he appears to have caught a sound which we believe sounds like painful moaning. Is your name Sarah? What was that? What is that noise? Was Sarah caught up in a tragic incident, as Dave mentioned earlier? Was there a crime committed? Was there someone, was there someone murdered up there? Possibly. Or, or a suicide. But some, let's just say, people didn't die of natural causes. If this is Sarah, 
Maybe she is reliving her final harrowing moments to this very day. Uh, I'm sorry I have to keep moving the camera down, but uh, you just pitch black, you can't see her. Okay, so have we, have we got a spirit over here? Male, female? When we first arrived in this... What? Did you not hear that? You said male, female, and they heard... Male, female? Yeah. Like it cried. As Bex asked for the spirit to identify if it was male or female, we caught what sounds like a female voice. Male, female, when we first arrived in this... What? Male, female, when we first arrived in this... What? Could this be the same spirit Paul was hearing upstairs? And would she be able to make even further contact as the investigation continued? I feel like we've got a man in here. Man, well, I hear a female, and, and you, you feel like we've got a man. Sure, we don't know. What I feel we... like there's a man behind me. Somebody just touched my leg here. Right. Somebody's behind you. Because did you hear that yeah. click? And then the K2 meters stopped flashing. It has stopped flashing, yeah. Have you left? Have you left us for some reason? Did you hear that? I heard it. Tap, tap, tap. No, tap, I heard tap, a growl. You heard a growl? Yeah. Do you hear that? That I heard that. <coughs> what was that? That was a tap, tap. K2's going off again. K2? K2? So K2, whoa. <gasps> Did you hear that? What that was? was a moan? Ooh. That was over in that corner. Did we get your name wrong? Can you tell us your name? It just felt like fingertips just stroked the side of my face. If you just touch me, can you make all my devices go off on the floor again, like you did before? If that was you that just stroked my face. I need to put that down so the ovulus hasn't said anything since it said enough. So maybe she has had enough. Whoever's here has had enough. Oh God, that made me jump. I mean, it's, it's good. I don't know if anything was caught on the camera when that happened. I don't know if anything brushed my face that you could have seen. That corridor is looking very, very eerie now. the way I have to go to get out of here. Gotta walk down there. Oh, and there you go. There you go. And I was extremely wary about walking down there and that's just happened. Oh, and the one, that one over there just went and that one. I am slightly in my pants right now because it's good when it happens oh what was that what was that something just moved towards me on camera then what the hell was that it was clear that there was something lurking in the shadows at the Winslow and it was able to alarm our equipment oh and there you go there you go. And I was extremely wary about walking down there, and that's just happened. Oh, and the one... 
That one over there just went and that one. Whatever it was also appeared to show itself in light form. Perhaps the spirit was starting to manifest and gaining energy from our presence in the building. Ghost dimension. So tonight we've had knocks, bangs. Some weird voices as well. Equipment's been going off. It has. I think so far this place has proven itself and it's living up to the reputation that it's got and it surprised me. I know, it's a gem of location. It really is. A gem of a location. I don't know if we're dealing with a spirit that's residing here or a ghost, something that they may have come over from the football club. Yeah. Or who, whoever this spirit is, I can't wait to identify. I'm hoping to um, get in touch with the lady, to find the lady who's sobbing and ask her why. Why are you so upset? I'm really, really hoping tonight she comes through for us. Well, you never know, she might do. Yeah. She might just do it. Yeah, she um, might do. For me so far, I'm excited to go find out even more. I'm excited, really, I'm with this location. Yeah. Let's, let's, do you know what, let's go and get, let's go and let's investigate do it. even more because the night's ticking away, the spirits are out to play, and we need to go and find them. Let's do it. Come on. Okay. The Winslow had now started to heat up with paranormal activity. And feeling determined to capture it on camera, Sean and I head upstairs to investigate the top floor, while Paul ventured into the cellar to seek out the spirits hidden deep below the building. Oh, we're going upstairs. Oh, Paul's carrying the gear. Yeah. And we're going to see what we can find. Oh, it's derelict. There's stuff everywhere. You have to watch your button. Oh, it's, it's freezing now. Freezing. I'm going up some more stairs. So we may just capture some ghosts. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Do you hear that, Paul? Oh, that's ours. It's, it's outside. Should we go down there? Yeah. Yeah. Do it on the Yeah. Yeah. What's, what's that chair there before? Yeah. I'm not sure if it was. I'll have to check the VTs back, but it, it might have not been there. I'm not too sure. I don't think it was, it was in here, wasn't it? But it wasn't there. Prior to filming the investigation, we had filmed various areas in the building. And looking back at the footage, it is clear to see that the chair is not in the same place that it was located in before the investigation started. Was this a sign of things to come for the team tonight? Okay, a little bit, Paul. Thank you. I think we'll need it. You scared? No. So we have an experiment. There's a hell of a lot of REM pods yeah, there's down there. Two, three, four, five, six, is that six? Six, seven maybe? Seven REM pods? And there's a, a, and there's a machine down there um, on the floor, which if anything walks past the triggers on the floor, it will alarm, it'll say sensor one, sensor two, or sensor three. We're going to leave that there. There's been a lot of reports of activity on this corridor. So we thought, you know what? Let's batter it with REM pods with the trigger device. And it's also on the lock off camera, which is down here. We are going to go and investigate the other rooms. The other rooms. Should we do it? Yes, we shall. There's the lock off. We have one, two, three. Four and five rooms and there are stairs. So should we go into this room? Yeah, let's go into here. And then let's ask whoever's here. Can they make a noise next door? Make a noise next door. Because on this wall is the red pods. Okay. Okay, so is there anybody here? Tap tap straight away. Yeah. Can you walk along the corridor? And make a noise. 
Just walk along it and walk towards us. Good. Yeah. Yeah. That's a woman. Crying. Hello. 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 Do these, you need our help? All these meters just went mad a minute ago when we were setting them up. Do you need our help? Babe. What? Did you not hear that? No. That was your name. Sure. Yeah. Seriously. Woman's voice saying, Sean. In there. In there. I heard it. In there. Watch, there's a hole there. Did you call my name? I am in the cellar of the Winslow Hotel and pub. It's a working pub, but today it is closed for us, which is nice. Uh, machines are on there, which you can't do anything about, I'm afraid. We have a REM just there, and there is a couple of REMs down this corridor. Just turn the IR up so you can see down there. So down here, there is supposed to be somebody that doesn't like anybody coming down here. And uh, people have heard their names called and growling in their ears. Just trying to see where I'm going here. So it's a bit dark. So in here we have a REM. <coughs> That's a storage area you can see. And there is another rem just on the, the pallet there. And more stuff in here. So, lots and lots of junk. So, we're going to see if anybody is going to come down. Mate, got to be careful where you're walking down here. Lots of uh, stuff. I uh, down again. Too bright. Oh, got a, an itch. I think I've just walked into a cobweb. My least favourite thing to do. Outside, there's an experiment. If you come towards us, we'll be able to hear you. And you can come and tell me what you want. Down there. Echoed. Followed by a They're gonna walk man. That was one of them. Right, let's go. That was hey? one of the pieces. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Somebody's down there. We captured them on camera. There's a lock off there, don't worry. We'll capture them. If there is somebody there, we'll we'll capture the manifestation of them. Okay, Bex. Are you here? Have you just <coughs> Bless you, you okay? Turn your torch off. We're here. Do you hear it? Yeah. We're here. I heard something then say something. Turn your torch off, let's see if we can get them to come. Can you walk towards us? We're not here to harm you. We're paranormal investigators. We just want to seek out the truth. Do not be afraid to come towards us. Like Beck says, we want to hear your story and why you want to communicate with us. We want to tell everybody that you're real. Sean. Why do you keep saying Sean's name? Do you want me to walk towards the door? Say that again, exactly the same. Say that again. Do you, do you want me to walk towards the door? There was, did, you, did you see that big cloud of smoke above my head? I missed it, but maybe we can capture that on the replay. That's at 5.13 into this. Are you here?
What was that? That was like somebody was like, there was tap tap. We could hear the words being spoken, but unfortunately we did not capture them on the camera audio. However, the spirit presence started to bang and we caught the following sound on camera. What was that? That was like somebody was like, that was tap tap, that was, that was like somebody was clearing their throat. It's clear that the Winslow Hotel is haunted, and our investigation was not short of activity. But what else are the spirits haunting here able to do to communicate further? If you can, come and knock on one of those. Come and bang on one. Quite a few little... Hidey hole areas down here. Little nooks and crannies. Is there anybody here? So, oh, excuse me. Plenty of uh, areas for a spirit to hide in. And they do seem to like to go to. Dark areas. Sorry, I'm sure I've walked into a bloody cobweb. Oh, no, it's not a good feeling. Can you see these little boxes with the metal sticks coming out? Can you touch one of them? Make it go off for me. And they're not designed to hurt you, they'll just let me know that uh, you're here. Can somebody do something for me, please? <coughs> Anybody? I'm not sure how much you can see of that corridor. Quite a bit, actually. Let's just showing that up. Is there anybody down there? Can you walk down that corridor? Let's go out, Bex. Ready? What the f***? That was you. No, 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 that was not me. Woohoo! Like that. Did you hear that? Like, woohoo! Wait, stop, 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 stop. Hello? Hello? Something was close to us, and during playback, we can clearly hear an audible voice from the spirit person. What the f***? Hello? Hello? Was this Sarah, and had we just caught her voice attempting to grab our attention? If so, it did just that. Set these devices off if you want us to leave. You know what, I'm not liking it up here, really, man. I'm just not liking it anymore. It's like it's waiting it. for us, and it's like, I'm gonna come. And if it, do you know what? I think it would pass out if it ran along that corridor. I think it'd be done. <gasps> Okay, you knew what I was going to say. He's listening. You're listening, are you? I don't know. I heard a voice. I was going to say if it ran down there and he all lit up. Oh, wow. Okay. What is that? Is that you? Let's move over here, because if we get pushed down the stairs... There. Say that. Yeah, well, it's dangerous, isn't it? I don't want to stand near the door. I don't want to stand near any doors, Listen, really. Bex. Come towards us! Use our spiritual energy. Ooh. Ooh. That was a female. 
Girls Boys. Somebody's behind us. <gasps> you hearing the voice? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You freeze that you would look like, didn't you? Yeah. No. Let's move your torch. It's on me. Ah, oh, I see, sir. Is that you? Can you give us a sign? Apart from uh, the noise down here, kind of. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, jeez, just got a stabbing pain in my chest. That hurt. I'm not reading anything into it, but at the same time, that was quite sudden, so I'm going to work with it just in case somebody's down here trying to say to me I had a chest problem. The machine seemed to kick off a bit more when I said that then. So I'm just going to. Uh, I shine a light. Christ almighty, what was that? Jesus. There's somebody over there. I'm going to have to put my torch on a second. That. It sounded like something fell. I don't know what was here previously. There was cobwebs in there, so that doesn't look like it's been moved for a while. Jesus Christ. Okay, if you really want us to go and it's you that's making these weird noises that we can hear, come make towards the light, us. Yeah, make the lights go off and then we'll leave. Come on, one big one. Laughing. I know, yeah. Do you dare go? Do you know what it is? They go near these lights and then did realise that they're alarming. Does it zap your energy when you went when you go near the lights? Them going off, do they take your energy? Is that what it is? Okay, we'll leave you and go into this room. If that's what you do. It is. Let's move that away. We're looking at it. Let's have a look at this ghostly spirit. We're in this direction. Yeah. It makes uh, Stop. Okay, we're here, away from you, in another room. Come towards myself and Bex. Try and shout your name as loud as you can and perhaps, oh jeez, I've just seen a head. I just saw a head. I just saw a head right here. There was a head. It was not attached to anything. It was just some, some head. It was bald. I don't know what's in there. Let's see if it's open. Cool. Please keep doors closed at all times. I don't even know how that unlocks. Christ. I just saw, clear as anything, a head. Oh my god. Oh, it feels charged down here now. It really does feel 
totally different to when I first got down here. Just crossing here, just showing you this here, right. Okay. Just heard something bang on one of those bottles and then the rem just went off here. I don't know which one. I don't know which one went off but one of them I'm kind of drawn into this room. Are you in here? That's, you know what? I think we've got quite a lot up here. Mises haven't gone off like we would have wanted them to one by one. Yeah. But whatever it was. Shit, me. Where's that? Listen. Now that's weird. So we're saying the meters haven't gone off as we had to expect them to. And then one goes off. Thank you. Do it one more time. One more time if you can. If you lived here, you're the female. Do it one more time. We're gonna go now. Let's, let's pretend. Do you know? Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Right, we are really gonna go now. <clears throat> We're gonna wrap up. We appreciate everything that you've given us. And, uh, we appreciate. <laughs> it's been good. Appreciate the fact that you've made us scared on this invest, um, but we're going to leave now. You're crapping me. Just as we announced to the spirit that we were leaving, we heard and caught the following voice, which we believe is the same spirit lady from earlier, and she appears to say no. Appreciate the fact that you've made us scared on this invest, um, but we're going to leave now. You're crapping me. Perhaps this was Sarah, and we had kept her company, as we unfolded her story and she was sad to see us leave. Ghost Dimension. The Winslow Hotel appears to be haunted, and it would seem that there are many tragic ghostly stories to tell. One day, we are sure that they will be told.